He's never ridden a two-wheeler. I'm on a trip with Hannah and we have some interesting stops planned so I figured we would take you guys along for the ride and get a few shots of each spot. The first stop is in Missouri for a show but there's a local riding area close by and some other riders are going to meet us out here so it should be a good time to warm up before the show. Going big already? I don't know. slow around the corner and then you'll have more control going at it. I didn't scared of that. This is really big for me. Riding was a little bit rough. I ended up dropping the camera early on and breaking some things on it. It deleted some footage, but it seems to be working again, so hopefully I got lucky there. Then I had a crash on a splatter where I was more worried about the second ledge and I didn't quite adapt to the changing conditions well enough. It got a little bit slippery. I spun, didn't make it, but I was able to figure it out eventually with a stop. Now we are heading to the church where the show is going to be, and it sounded like all they really wanted was a big jump, so I'm not too sure what to expect there, but hopefully I can have some fun with it. I just finished up with practice and rehearsal and the jump is pretty weak. There's no transition on the lip so it doesn't really kick you very high and there's not a lot of room to go very far so not much I can do with that. I tried to think of something else I could add to it. At least I got a 180 in there but it seems like every time I went out to practice or rehearse something had to change so never really knew what was going to be next and what to expect but we're going to the shows now so I think we've got to figure out what they want me to do and I'll do that and try to have a good time. I wonder what's in there, huh? <laughs> oh! We just finished up shows and they went pretty well. It was fun to be part of such a big program. There were a lot of talented people performing and I was happy to be one of them. My part was pretty small. I did have a little bit of issue a couple times breaking out of the box. One time it covered my face and I couldn't see coming out of there. So luckily it was all good. Another time it grabbed my front brake and held me up a little bit. But other than that, it went pretty smooth, had some fun. They took great care of us and it was just cool to be there. And now we're back out at the riding area that we were on Friday to do some more real riding. So let's go have some fun. And I just tried this one and almost looped out of the top, but saved it. See if she can clean it up this time. Oh yeah, there you go. Alright, found a pretty nice spot here with a few double and triple steps at awkward angles. Oh, right into the brush. Not a lot of the stuff I want to ride is cleared out for some reason. Nobody wants to ride these lines. Maybe now after I ride them they will. Now to make it a little more technical, try to stop the setup on the off camber to try to wait the left foot peg a little heavier and not rely on so much traction. There we go. Perfect double gap triple step. All about timing and staying on the line since it's somewhat thin on the first one. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to go to the right of the tree, which makes it hard to stay on the rock because the tree wants to push it to the right and there's a big hole, so hopefully I can stay right where I land and turn left and still catch that top rock. Hannah has a line 
up this rocky hill. Oh, big spin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Restart. Early. He just grabbed a lot of throttle and started spinning early. Try to be a little smoother if you can. Okay. Nice and smooth, look up and keep your momentum. Oh, you're spinning on that rock early. You're gassing right on that rock and it's kicking your tire sideways. So if you go a little bit wider and try to miss the point of it and be smoother on your wheelie, you should make it. Keep it rolling. Let the bike bounce around if it has to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll take the bonus line here. Okay, she nailed it that time, but I want to clean my ride up a little bit. Ah. Ah, I blew it for ya. I rushed it a little bit. I really just wanted to see you clean it three times. Didn't have a whole lot of time to ride half of the shows, but it was nice to get out of the stage, off of the wood, and into some rocks and dirt. Now we are in Bentonville, Arkansas to do some mountain biking, and they are always adding more trails here, so I'm excited to get out and see what's new. Mountain biking is not only great cross training, but it's a lot of fun, so I always try to mix up my motorcycle trips with some pedaling. We are at another OHV park today, and you may notice that is on my bike. She's not riding today because I'm too cheap. This place has a little bit too expensive of admission without knowing how good it is. So she's gonna try to do some minding and some filming. Should be interesting. Got that? You said a stuff? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do some stuff. Okay. Two setup spots on this one. On this point, so I can get drive to splatter up to that left side. And then this one, I'm trying to go up to the left of that tree. So I want the rear tire to be right here. That way I can be as square as possible to that and still get a decent amount of run. If I'm over here, puts the front tire too far. If I'm over here, that's too big of an angle. Oh, I was off the point and I spun. Okay, I really want to stay on that point this time to avoid sliding sideways. Most important minor duties. <laughs> you ready to try spotting? Oh man, really? Oh man, it's time. Actually, two on this one. So I'm gonna come up this side too. You have, you can probably do about a half inch to the left if you like. My left or your left? Oh, you're right. I, I thought so. That's what I meant. Sorry, my left. <laughs> Looking down over here. A little goal post action. Tight drop. Oh, not too bad. Are you ready up there? Just remember to give it a lot of gas. That's all it takes, right? Sure. And a lot of legs. Oh, I had it, but 
you did too. Okay. <laughs> I think I didn't pop up enough, so I caught that hole, that undercut. It just stopped the rear tire. So this time, let's try to get a little more lift. And I found a short and sweet one here, mainly because I want to use third gear on this one. It should fly right up there, but there's a chance you could spin or get hung up and not quite make it. That's why Hannah's here. Oh, a little slower than I would have liked, but I'm up. This ridge looks slick. Oh, that was actually pretty fun right there. Unfortunately, we had to cut the trip short due to some sickness. We had plans to hit a local event, but I did not want to wear my body down even further or risk passing it on to someone else. It was a bummer to end the trip that way, but sometimes it's just how it goes. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, and if you think we should do some more like it, maybe we'll try again when we have more time. For now, if you want to support this channel, please consider shopping at factory1motorsports.com or through your local dealer. Thanks for watching. Woo! <laughs>